Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. Do me a quick favor. If you're new to the crew, do me a quick favor. Hit both the like and the subscribe button as well as the bell icon on your way in. I truly appreciate you. I definitely appreciate you for helping us with that. We're talking about the OnePlus N10 5G from Metro by T-Mobile. Gonna be talking about this device we're going to be talking about software updates battery life we're also going to be talking about new features right because this device does have android 11 on here as of yesterday i downloaded it on this device it came in as a regular system software update it said software update and i just thought it was just going to be like a normal security patch but it actually turned out that it was the android 11 update right so this thing is going to be really good right it's going to have really good improvements to the oneplus nord n10 5g so i want to talk about some of the new android 11 features on this device now this device let me just first talk about um about it a little bit so this i have i've got had this for about five six months now and i really enjoy using this device it's got stable cameras it's got a really smooth oxygen, um, you know, like the, the operating system is the oxygen operating system. And we did get an update to that before we got this Android 11 update. So it has 90 refresh, hertz refresh rate when it comes to the device. And you also can change the icons in the icon pack, hydrogen or oxygen. But there's, there's many different things that you could do to tailor this device to your own personal preference, but Android 11 helps with that. Customization, optimization, performance enhancements. We're gonna get into that in a little detail, but if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, uh, before we get started, quick reminder, hit both the like and the subscribe button as well if you're enjoying the content so far. So, right, the first thing that I really like about here is that you could do schedule dark mode, right? You, you could schedule the dark mode to come on at a certain time. It could automatically come on during sunset, or you could just turn it off and on manually. So I think that's pretty cool that they do also have that option. They do also have customization to the ambient display, right? So you could lift up the display and depending on what you want to be on that display, you could tailor the look of it you could go to customization inside of here. You could also customize the icons, the font, the system icons, the default color, the accents. But they have this lock screen ambient display where you can change this new option right here called horizon light, right? So they've added that. So whenever you get a notification, the sides of your display will light up and you will be able to see that on your phone when you receive a new notification at any time, maybe a text message, phone call, um, you know, something from Facebook, something from Twitter, something from Instagram, things of that nature. We also do have that newly designed chat bubbles when they come in as notifications on this device. It's gonna look pretty cool because, you know, like the Facebook Messenger, how it had that bubble that you could move around. You kind of just play around with it on the screen. You could close it, minimize it, open it back up. It's very cool because you could see all the notifications that are coming in individually, respond to them individually, right? And it, it'll add less clutter. It's also going to add a better um, optimization. What like it's going to be more smooth and the interface is going to look a lot better, right? So it's going to be more improved interface with the animations when you're getting notifications and you could also tailor, uh, you know, you know, like how, how frequently, what apps you want to have notifications come in, when they're going to come in. You, you can minimize the different types of app, app um, notifications that you do want to come on this device. So I think that's pretty cool. But the, the, the one of the main things that really changed about this device <clears throat> is the haptics. The overall haptics engine changed on this device. And you're going to feel that not only with the fingerprint sensor, when you hit that, you're gonna feel the vibration of the whole phone now. When it clicks, you're gonna feel the vibration of that phone and you're gonna feel it. You're also gonna feel it when you go back or when you go home. Well, if you, if you hit the most recent apps menu as well, you'll feel the vibration. So everything that you're doing now on this device, it'll get a little haptic engine, um, it'll vibrate. 
to let you know that you've entered a new place under the screen. So it's very intuitive. It flows really nicely. It feels really good. That vibration does have a nice feeling when I'm clicking it. And the keyboard, right? The keyboard has a, a good vibration to it. One, a really good vibration to it. It's almost, almost like too aggressive, right? One plus Nord and you can, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could customize this and make it less, uh, less, less, uh, you know, less noticeable, but that vibration on the keyboard, it, it, it jumps back out at you, right? When you, when you press, you're going to feel that haptic come right back at, back out, out at you. And I think that's definitely been improved with the overall software on the Android 11. We have that visual refresh. We have that, that performance refresh as well as the improved haptics. The permissions have also been tailored. So if you decide to use an app, let's say, you know, um, let's say you want to use an app for your watch. If you go into the app, you will ask you if you want to go into it one time, just this one time only, or always allow. So we do also have that always on ambient display. So whenever you want to see your, your, your time date and day really quick, all you have to do is just lift up the phone real quick. It doesn't stay on all the time. It just, turns on when you lift up the phone. So I, I think that's really cool. You could also um, change that to however you want it to look. And I think that's something that's pretty cool. So the new haptics, the new improved animations, the overall performance, um, it has a lot of better performance, right? Less memory will be used in the background, meaning that the phone now with Oxygen 10.5 it, it does better with everything. Optimization, memory allocation, um, you know, including the overall smoothness and motion animations on the phone are definitely going to be noticeable. So the dark mode, you can, you could, you could time that. Like I said before, you could also customize the, the wallpapers on this device, uh, really well. So, and the buttons and the text and the fonts and the accent colors, like I said before, but you're also going to have new improved media controls and meet devices, meaning that things that are set up in your house that are paired to your device with the smart option, you're gonna find them all in one place and it's gonna be really easy to get to from your navigation when you swipe that down. You'll also see your media controls inside of there as well. So <clears throat> the, the control center has a nice flow to it. Also, the settings menu, when you're using it, you're gonna see that it's kind of down here, like at the bottom. Meaning when you're holding the phone, you're going to notice that everything has been dropped down to make it a lot easier for you to swipe and for you to get to certain buttons. So in that settings menu, everything is going to kind of look like the One UI software a little bit or the LG software, how they just dropped everything down for you to be able to toggle a lot easier with the one handed operation on here. So I definitely like that as well. So what's really cool is that in the gallery, they did up to update the gallery app. It's almost like a magazine experience now when you're scrolling through your, your photos, right? It's almost like a magazine experience is what they say. It's going to be really smooth, really optimized. You also do, they also make you like different stories after a certain time and period with dates attached to it. So you can go back to your most recent history and memories and things like that. So they, they do also offer a hidden collection, so you could obviously store photos in there and hide them. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but they do have that on here. There's another feature on here called Zen Mode, and um, I think that's pretty cool because if you hit that though, you're not going to be able to exit it. But I just want to let you know you you do have Zen Mode, which will not allow you to get notifications, phone calls, or things like that. You could only use the camera. And you could only uh, do phone calls, I think. You can't, well, you no, I don't think you could take phone calls at all. You could use the camera while it's in Zen mode and then maybe emergency phone calls. That's pretty much it, but you can't do anything outside of that. So I, I timed it for 40 mi minutes and I was like, let me get out of here. And then I, then I realized that there was no way out of it. You have to actually go through that full 40 minutes, which is pretty cool because they force you they actually really do force you to stay off your phone. There's no way out of that Zen mode once you have pressed 
it to go on. So the visual improvement, the visual refresh, the battery optimization, they're gonna have optimization for the battery now. When you go into the battery, you're gonna notice that they do have additional features when you click the three dots at the right hand top corner and then click battery optimization. You're gonna see that they have two more options inside of there, which will be, let me see. It's a, a turn on battery, turn on adaptive battery, turn on sleep, uh, standby optimization, which is basically disabling network connections when you're asleep to make this, to make um, apps unable to receive notifications, which will actually save you a ton of battery, right? And then optimized app power consumption is on here, a new feature, which was going to, when, when apps have unusual consumption in the background, it will detect that and it'll automatically kill it in the background. But these are some of the newest, more popular features. You also do get Android Auto, you also do get a ton of other Android features uh, as well. I also did see that they had a new, um, you could do voice chat on here. It said, check out the new layout. And then it, and it gave us a new, it gave us like a layout of the dialer. And it said we could do voice chat on here, which is pretty crazy. And another thing that was pretty cool was that inside of here, we do get visual voicemail. So you could turn that on as well. Um, as well, in addition to that, we also do get screen recording, NFC on this device, nearby share, OTG for sh uh, moving files from device to device. Wi-Fi calling is an important feature that we do have one here, as well as hotspot, screen cast, and other options to help your eyes, visual comfort, and reading mode. So. This device pretty much has all the bells and whistles. You could also change the the camera to 4K 60 or 4K, uh, 4K 30 and 1080 60, 1080 30. But um, the cameras are really good on here. They're really stable. Also the optimization for the battery is really good. Also the overall customization and optimization that they did to this phone makes it really squeaky clean. No really, no real lag visually on this device. That 90 Hertz display looks absolutely gorgeous. And um, they have that OnePlus community that you can join. You can receive discounts with that as well, but um, they, they, I just really enjoy using this device from Metro by T-Mobile, the, the OnePlus N10 5G, the Nord. But I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the comment section to answer all of your questions. I'm also gonna be uh, see you real quick on the next video, so make sure you stay locked in with me But if you're new to the crew do me a quick favor on your way out hit both the like button subscribe and get notified And also hit the bell icon and I'm gonna get right back with you later later crew peace